Thanks for joining us tonight. For the first time, we are hearing from one of the corrections officers accusing Ramsey County of discrimination for how the jail handed, handled guarding Derek Chauvin. We have agreed to hide the officer's identity and alter his voice because of concerns over retaliation. Chris Harapsky brings us the officer's side of the story. It was May 29th. Former officer Derek Chauvin was taken into custody for the death of George Floyd and brought to the Ramsey County Jail for booking. An African-American sergeant who we've agreed not to identify for his fear of retaliation says he was the first to process Chauvin into the jail. After that was complete, I was told by Superintendent Biden that he didn't want me to have any contact with the uh, jail. Which struck me as odd, but... The sergeant returned to his office and soon heard a similar complaint from another officer of color. I called my direct supervisor and asked him specifically, are we moving all minorities off the fifth floor? And he responded with, yes. And my response was, are you serious? My response was, is anybody going to tell him that that's illegal? You can't assign people positions based on their race, nationality, or color of their skin. Uh, that's like the definition of discrimination. And later, one of your bosses asked you to explain to other officers of color what was happening? Yes. And how did you respond to that? I declined to do it. I politely responded and said, with all due respect, I cannot be a part of that. I cannot explain this to other staff members. The sergeant says the superintendent apologized for the order that night in a press release sent four days ago. The sheriff's office quotes jail superintendent Steve Lydon saying, quote, I felt I had an immediate duty to protect and support employees who may have been traumatized and may have heightened ongoing trauma by having to deal with Chauvin, end quote. The sergeant says to him that explanation didn't make sense. Do you think that is an overtly racist act by your boss? Now, the sergeant said that the sheriff assured him and scores of other officers that changes would be made to the administration. But as the weeks went by and no changes were made, including a denial of this very story to a Reuters reporter from the sheriff's office on June 10th, that's when the officer said, they made formal charges with the Department of Human Rights. Also tonight, uh, a spokesperson for the sheriff's office tells me that Superintendent Leiden has changed roles in the jail. He said it was a, quote, equivalent to a demotion. No further details were given, Julie. All right. Really interesting perspective tonight. Thank you so much, Chris.